training here i will go fool you some of you ask me the same question want to do some tai chi side wing chun side and the self defense a kt free side and how all this movement gonna work and how they're putting together let me run you fool so you gone to getting the idea all three of this so you know the differences okay let's run first now this one here i'm gonna run full due to the basic wing chun one have to understanding each one of this movement here we're dealing with everything so we hook me now this is what happening he hook me okay this is why we talk about each scenario differently, so they get an idea. So you cannot prepare to have the movement and then you try to attack because you got to remember if you hit me, the hook, he will continue attacking. You have to understand that because it's not one movement of this to doing everything or to get real of the certain situation, okay? It's a setup and it's a basic of how you want to finish of the movement. But in this training, we have to go through the basic with you, so you're getting the idea of it, and then you can put it in the way you want, okay? So the basic movement, Wing Chun. The movement, I'm doing here, okay? I will continue attacking. Now, of course, when he do that, from here, I can continue attacking here, okay? I'm not gonna want to attack him down here while we hand is up here. You don't wanna do that. But in training, we have to make sure that movement here will give them the effect to don't get this hand to respond to me. Because if I'm, we hook, boom, here, boom, 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 he won't have, he go, he too, he will get hurt. He won't be able to use a hand. So this is what gives you example of understanding because the movement we're gonna go in, we're gonna do it so that hand cannot respond if we need to respond, okay? Now, another thing you understand, mm. if I'm here, boom, ah, bam, bam, I don't give this hand to respond. Now, if I give it this hand to respond, okay, I will do it exactly the same, okay? I will do exactly because my hand will be in this movement here, okay? Now, if we come in from this uh, situation, we turn a basic hook, like somebody swing at you. We talking about that basic movement at the moment. You can have many, many different theory, different idea, if this, if that, if whatever. But what you got to understanding it, this situation here is happened that we're just talking about is the basic movement that in this situation somebody slapped you, okay, hooked you, this basic stuff, okay. So you can get an idea, so you can able to apply on whatever you need. I just want to make it you to understand the differences, so you can create it. But in real life. It changed because the intents of him, it depends on the situation. I walk through with you slowly as you progress. So he coming through, life, body, positioning. I continue to attack him, okay? And then if he swing this side, I continue. Now I'm not gonna continue punching only the chest. I continue to follow. If he hit me this side, I continue follow, and he continue follow, and I continue follow, okay? I continue to decorate his face so much, even the cat want to run away quickly to the mountain because they don't want to stay with him because they're so ugly. Because you know what happened when you get decorate your face a lot? You're going to look like hamburger face. You know what a hamburger look like? It's a been mashing up like that. It's not going to be good. So that's the basic Wing Chun. Second one we're talking about here, it's talking about a self-defense or the JK, uh, JKD side or the KT freeze that we're going to use, the KT freeze side on the training. So what's it look like? So now when the hook comes in here, I will come in more vicious a little bit. I will directly, I will close the gap here, okay? Now when I close the gap here, I'm checking this hand. 
Why I want to check in his hand if I don't go like if he grab for my body? Now, I'm gonna have a problem. Big problem. Why? Because he want to get married to me. He want to take me up to the mountain in somewhere in the, make me wear that white dress and put a lipstick on me and everything else and make me wear in the goddamn, you know what, purple pant. I don't want to do that. Why? Because it made me look bad. So I don't want to wear any purple pant. I want to take him out of commission quickly, okay? To do that, when he came, I will go, grab, control the arm. Grab me. I will control here. And the first thing I want to do is shove the knee boom, down here. Straight away, the knee coming boom, down here. But in reality, you want to be pumped on his face here like this, okay? On his face. Now, some of you thinking that arm here, if it bend toward me, so it jam, okay? So that, that means you can come in. If you come in, I control by my body, okay? The hip. And one thing Pit Master talk about is so beautiful. And so beautiful, it's just beautiful. If somebody have your hip, they control your soul. If you have your hip, they control your, your, your soul. Your soul? Soul. Your soul. What is a soul? It's like your life force. Oh, your life force. So that's, what is it? I don't know. Some of them say it's a nice word, but I don't know what that means. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now, when I'm here, if you grab my waist, he keeps out, that's it. That mean he control my soul, okay? He can slam it on the floor, he grab hold me, breaking my hip, all sort of thing. And it's gonna be a problem because even though you have the beautiful girlfriend at home and you get home and she lay down on the bed and you see there, it's just like your mouth is dripping and just ready and you have the thing coming up. And, but your hip got a problem. When your hip are problem, it's no more fun for you. So you don't want them to control your hip. Because they control your hip, they control your soul, and a big problem. So I want to do, I heard the thing, I control. Grab me. I grab him. I straighten the arm, okay? So now he come, I pum. Okay, he come, I pum. He come, I pum. We have this hand here to check. Why are we checking this? Because in case we go going in wrong in training and he will directly hit in the face. And let me tell you why. Look at this flow here. It's slippery, okay? So everything can happen very quickly. You fall down. Why? Because if I go in wrong like this, I slip, he grab my, he grab my leg and I fall straight away. Boom, okay? And that is become the nightmare right away in the street. So you have to understanding so many things got taken consider when you're doing the training because in the street it's very different in the classroom. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Because if you don't, nightmare will begin. So I'm here, I take a pin down here and I control that and I need. Soon I need, if it's certainly, grab my leg, okay? I have applied, you see? I knee, I apply, I slap the goddamn arm. Okay, now that will be done the job for me and I move him out of the way. Because sometimes when got hand, you know some of you out there got hand, you know hand is the nightmare. You pick your nose, you sometimes you're scratching your backside and smell them. And some of you out there watching now, you just do that. I just see you. You just see the watching and picking your nose and start to taste it. Because you're hungry, man. Go and get some food. This is not food. This is seafood. It's bad. Give that shit up, people. So make sure you're watching and learning, not squatting your ass and smell them. And that's the bad news. So that is what this basic KT3 is. Check out Master Wong app on Apple Store, iPhone and iPad. Check out Master Wong app at Google Play. So the Wing Chun side, I come in and bam. Okay, because I want to hit the body. Why? Because I, I can't hit him. But I can't hit him in the face like this. Because, you know, Tyrone sometimes, he want to go home and see his girlfriend. Otherwise, he's going to be messed up and his girlfriend might left. That's, and, and nobody going to do video. And you can't watch it any more of that. So that's why we got to make sure we're hitting down down here when we continue to come and attack. Soon he attacking, I boom down here, and we continue to making the contact on him. Okay, so the first initial of this movement here. Okay, if I'm talking about this in a point of view, certainly raise the hand. I boom. 
That is the basic of why we do that movement. Okay? We don't somebody attack very fight and then you, you do that. It's that movement don't work. And my friend, what's your name again? Sao. Sao. <laughs> you know, I remember you all the time on that. Sao always said, everything work and nothing work. Why? Because the time and the place for everything. Because you put the place in the wrong place, the technique, it's not going to work. But you put it in the right places, it's going to work. So just imagine this. I'm talking to him. You're right, man. And he put his hand. Okay? Because he raised his hand. I didn't see that. So I have to really respond right away. He raised his hand. And boom, I respond right away. So I want to hurt him. Now, is that movement going to knock people out? No! It's just stunning them and see what the situation is. And then you continue to launch in your attack. Now the KT3, in the other hand, when he came, I see it. Boom, I will go here. Why want to come here? Because I just want to make sure that he can take some of this. Boom. But reality, I want to go here. Boom, down here. Straight here. Crap in here. And then instead of needing here, he got something. I got a boom, and it's going here. Because when it's going here, see, it's difficult for him to block. See? But it's a time for everything to be used. Now, I'm doing this and I come to here. Suddenly, he swing with this hand. Oh! Boom! Boom! And boom down here. And then I start to walk in this way here, ready to go because I'm running away. Because Tai Chi let you to move out of the way quickly because you want to move the body from one to another. If you like this kind of thing here, yeah, and you love it so much, you want to learn more about Wing Chun, we have the Wing Chun understanding. And if you want to learn about the KT3, we have the book about KT3. You read about it, the mindset, the principle, the understanding about it. And if you like the Tai Chi meditation sign, ready to peace. And beautiful stuff. And then sometimes you're getting a problem in your mind, breathe. And then breathe out. And then you breathe out. Now you're nice and relaxed. You feel good. Like some of you out there have a bad day at work. You go home and then you want to have a go with your wife and your kid. Remember, practice some Tai Chi. Breathe in for me. Yes, you. Yes, you. Breathe in deeply for me. Breathe in. And then breathe out. And again. And then out. And make sure you not come out at the end, you know? Otherwise, it's going to stink. It's going to be bad news. And that will calm you down. Make you feel more peaceful. Make you feel good. And you know you're going to love this thing. So remember, everything is half the time and place of everything. I have the forum for you to ask me any question you want or anything you want to know and you go to the forum and they need the description and in their kt3 or hk3 forum we have two forums there to helping you to answer all the questions you want to answer and if you want to ask me anything else what this what that what do you like and what don't you like you do you like the kt3 side do you like the wing chung side do you like the tai chi side whatever you like tell me and i will be here to answer all your question and Anything else you want to know, let me know. I'll be here to helping you. Master Wong here and... Ow.